Crimes and investigation is basically used for every crime that, or every call that is made to the police department. Um, you know, obviously they have to react on it and it's just the degree of what's getting done for a particular call that I guess differs and that is not something that's necessarily mandated but is often at the discretion of the detective or the investigating officer. The cost of an average crime scene investigation is hard to determine. Um, you know, it is, it depends, I guess, from the start, if whether it's we are just looking at a vehicle, you know, examination for maybe a burglary or something, or whether we're actually doing a full-blown, you know, triple homicide with dozens and dozens of physical pieces of evidence. Um, I think the majority of the cost for a crime scene investigation obviously comes from the man hours that is spent examining the actual crime scene. But the real cost, you know, arrives later on when we start to do the lab work that's related to those evidence examinations. And then eventually maybe even when we go to court, the judicial part of that is, you know, the preparations for court, the making of crime, you know, court exhibits, stuff like that. Uh, you know, my ideal crime scene is obviously, you know, something that's pristine, something that has not been disturbed. The ideal cases is hard, I guess, just because of the world that we live in. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to keep a freeway where there's been a shooting or a robbery closed for a day and a half, or, um, you know, keep a ve other vehicles off the road, or keep a whole police department occupied in one particular area for a day or two. And, uh, you know, there's other factors, obviously, that make or influence crime scenes, like whatever happens in between the incident and when somebody actually comes out and starts to preserve the crime scene, you know, we have no control over it. So there could be cars, dogs, kids, you know, the whole thing could just be a mess by the time that we get there. I think over time, investigations will get better. It's no longer good enough to take one picture at a crime scene with two dead people on, uh, simply because of, uh, you know, the demands on the criminal justice system is higher, or the standard that is expected from criminal justice and crime scene investigations is a lot higher. You know, it's, there should be more photo documentation, there should be more notes, more measurements, uh, a bigger variety of analysis done. Just the hard thing that any investigator faces is to stand on a crime scene and say where the investigation is going to lead them two weeks from today. So he really has no choice to do sort of everything and then whatever else he thinks is going to be important or might be relevant.